just for you to have an idea how much water is used in freeze protection, for every night of freeze protection in strawberries, you spend between two and three acre inches of water per night to protect the crop. That's enough for one day of sprinkler irrigation when you're establishing the crop. And this one fifth of all the water that you need in the season. <coughs> one fifth of all the water that you need in the season, you could apply in just one night. That's what we call the bottle grow. It's an alternative to that vertical system that is over there and just using coke bottles. The good thing of that is that that costs $13. Each one of those towers costs 150 How many levels you want, it depends on what you're going to grow. Remember, the more levels that you got, the less light that goes through. So if you get really greedy and you get six levels, then you might have only leaves at the bottom. That's why if you got any vertical system like the vertical of this, you need to consider leafy crops at the bottom provided that the label of the pesticides allow you to spray them if you're going to be intercropping. Keep the plant in it and really this has helped a lot to us to establish plants in pine bark like you see behind you. We make sure that we just dip the transplant in it, put it on the soil and that allows us to get faster establishment. One of the biggest problems with pine bark is that it takes forever to get wet. Now imagine if we put a fertilizer on top of this, now all of a sudden we think that we might find the slow-release fertilizer integrated to this. So we are working on that. The irrigation trial that we got that there that went south, and we're trying desperately to recuperate the plants. So you see what kind of thrip and might pressure we get in these tunnels. These little tunnels that you see all the way to the back, each one of them. Each one of them is repeated, because that way we can collect data that makes sense. So we created this facility to test plastics only. And look at the effect, not only of the plastics on the growth of the plants, but also on the insect incidence inside. Why? Because a lot of insects use infrared and ultraviolet as a navigation system. So the more that you change the radiation inside, probably you're going to change the way the insects perform.